If the engine is on, the two batteries are connected. So the engine can charge the star battery and the house battery together. And when the engine is off, the VSR will separate these two batteries. So only the house battery's power is being drained. And these batteries will preserve at its full capacity. Here is a typical two battery system with two batteries here and the VSR connected in between. The first battery is usually called the star battery that connects to your engine. And the second battery is usually a larger one called house battery that connects to the, all the load in your household. So when we start the engine, the voltage in the star battery will go above 14 volt, which is the output voltage of the engine. And the VSR will sense the high voltage here and you will combine these two batteries together after a certain amount of time, depending on VSR's model. So as you can see, the VSR turns on and these two batteries are connected and the voltage of the house battery is raised. In this way, the engine is actually charging the both batteries together. So when the engine is off, the voltage will drop below 12.8 volt and while the, the loads keep consuming the power from the batteries it will drop further below 12.8 volt and again the VSR will sense the low voltage and after a certain amount of time it will disconnect these two batteries so now you see these two batteries are disconnected and the devices in the house battery keep draining these batteries will have no effect to the star batteries over here so even if we deplete the batteries here from the house battery the star battery will still remain at almost full capacity and again if we turn on the engine the BSR will combine together again and the house battery is being charged together with the star battery. So the idea is, if the engine is on, the two batteries are connected. So the engine can charge the star battery and the house battery together. And when the engine is off, the VSR will separate these two batteries. So only the house battery's power is being drained. And these batteries will be preserved at its full capacity. So that's the basic idea of a VSR. There are also more advanced features for the VSR like menu override, zero power storage mode, external indication LED port, dual port sensing which means that the voltage can now be sensed from either port, not just the start the ENG port, and the 12 volt and 24 volt compatibility which means that these VSR can be installed in either 12 volt or 24 volt systems. So please check our product introduction page for more information and I hope you liked the tutorial today and thank you for watching and please subscribe if you find this helpful. See you next time.